Farm Bureau Insurance wants you to join us for a concert in Virginia Beach this season. We're giving away two premium seats, VIP parking, and VIP club passes to every concert this year. Register now online at FarmBureauLive.com. First off, just so excited for them personally that they have gotten to this point and have reached this goal and have worked so hard to get it. And um, you know, and, and what they've done for the program is is just amazing. And you know, Steve and I have just felt like from the beginning um, that if you can start out with the right people, then uh, you can build something great. And I feel like that's really what we've been able to do here uh, with with these athletes and, and they've been the ones that have done it. Um, they have been the ones that have been committed and have worked hard and and deserve you know everything that they have achieved at this point. Uh, we're real excited. It's uh, It's been a great year. Uh, started with the cross country championships and getting our team to our men's team to nationals being 24th. It was a, a great great fall and these guys have just built upon it. Uh, you know they're very committed uh, men and women both the program uh, we're, we're very excited about where it's at and, and where they're headed this uh, this coming week. I mean, it's great. We've got um, five people in five different events, so it just shows that um, we've got a good spread of people. Um, a lot of us are, well, actually, we're all older, so we've all been working for this for four or five years, so it's really nice to have everything come together in the end. I'm really excited to uh, make it with four other people. Um, we've all been working so hard, um, and it's like we're all fifth years except for Nicole so um, it's exciting we're all going together <laughs> yeah it's awesome I'm, I'm really happy we have a good mix of guys and girls and um, we're not just doing track events there we've got uh, Heather Roush and Javelin as well um, so I think it'll be overall a really good atmosphere for us all to help each other and um, encourage one another on the track and in the field for the entire program it's, it's great across the board um, you know distance runners and steeplers and uh, thrower making it to nationals all well, like you know uh, as far as I know five of us has been the most that's gone in a long long time so um, it's great people going with me a lot of friends um, it's gonna be a great time I mean I'm really excited obviously I've been trying to get to nationals for like five years so um, it's really exciting to finally make it in the 5k and I'd like to get like top 12 and hopefully Break 16. It's kind of weird that I'm going for the second time because it's a different event than what I ran last time, but um, change is good and I really enjoy the steeplechase. I've come to get a lot better at it over the last year with technique and stuff, so I'm excited to do it. I mean, you know, the thing about Amy and Nicole is that, um, you know, they are, again, the same as Heather, just true competitors and passionate about running. And the two of them together being able to train together because they really are the same event, the same level, um, I think has been the key for them as well to be able to really work hard together and train together and, um, and put themselves in this position to qualify uh, at the national meet. Heather came to us really as a discus thrower out of Indiana, had never thrown the javelin, uh, first learned to throw the javelin here as a freshman and then by her her fifth year, she qualifies uh, to the NCAA championships in the javelin. It's phenomenal. I'm trying to focus on not being satisfied with just qualifying. I'd like to go there and uh, really put up some good marks and maybe earn a legitimate All-American honor. Either first team or second team would be phenomenal. So hopefully, yeah, ho hopefully I could do a, do a little more damage. Yeah, it was an awesome year. We redshirted last year so that we could come back and uh, for our final season of collegiate of uh, cross country in the fall and I think um, we we achieved most of our goals we came a little bit short on one or two but um, overall it was a really successful season and I think everyone individually was pretty happy as well as collectively as a team. We're all feeling really good heading into it everything seems to be coming around at the right time um, feeling fit and um, just really excited to get out to Des Moines to uh, you know all of us are going for All-American out there so can't wait. You know, it's going to be very competitive, obviously. You know, you have 24 athletes in each event now at the final, uh, and they're all equally, uh, you know, as strong and, and, and ready to go. They proved that last weekend. You don't get to the national championships now by just putting a good time up early in the season like it used to be. You've got to prove yourself, and you've got to get it done uh, at the regional championships in order to, a prelim round, to in order to move on. And all three of them, and the, the men as well, with Benford and, and Lano, 
it, it's just it was an attitude. It, there was they weren't going to accept anything less. They were going to get it done, and they were going to do what they needed to do to get onto the national meet. And I think we're going to see that here next week as well with them. That that it's not just about being there, but it's about getting there and and uh, and competing hard and doing the best that they can next week uh, in Des Moines.